Hey guys, it's Carrie. Join me at the watering hole to see some of these amazing animals. Hippo, they favor shallow areas where they can sleep half submerged in the water. By night, hippos walk along familiar paths as far as 10 kilometers into surrounding grasslands to feed for five or six hours. The long canines and incisors are used strictly as weapons. Grazing is accomplished by grasping grass with the tough white lips and jerking the head. Hippos do not chew cud but retain food for a long time in the stomach where protein is extracted by fermentation. Their digestive process cycles tremendous quantities of nutrients into the African rivers and lakes and thereby supports the fish that are so crucial as a protein source in the diet of the local people. Adjacent territorial bulls will stare at each other, then turn and with their rear end out of the water, flip feces and urine in a wide arc by rapidly wagging the tail. This routine display indicates that the territory is occupied. Hippos recognize individuals by scent and sometimes follow one another nose to tail on night treks. Lion, in addition to their large size and sheer strength, the lion population is also renowned for its impressive eyesight. This is an advantage for their predominantly nocturnal hunting. Lions have significantly more rod cells than cone cells in the retina of their eyes, especially when compared to humans. Lions have around 25 rods to each cone, while humans have about four rods to each cone. The rods aid the reflection of more light into the eye while the cones are for color vision. This is what contributes most to the lion's impressive nocturnal vision. These large cats can see six to eight times better than humans in low light conditions. Like most nocturnal animals, they have a tapetum lucidum. This is a reflective layer of cells behind the retina which acts as a mirror. The white stripe under the eye helps reflect faint light into the eyes, making it easier to see under low light conditions. Lions have a second eyelid known as a nicotating membrane. This serves as an extra layer of protection for the cornea. Proboscis monkey. They have large bellies, which are a result of their diet and digestive system. Proboscis monkeys are highly selective feeders and have a specialized chambered stomach called a sacculated stomach that allows them to consume food other primates can't. Quagga, they are now extinct. They gathered in herds of between 30 and 50 animals and sometimes traveled in a linear fashion. Zors is the offspring of a zebra stallion and a horse mare. Tiger. They are mostly solitary, aside from the relationship between a mother and her cubs. An individual will keep a large territory to itself, covering between 8 kilometers to 95 kilometers. In the wild, cubs will spend up to two years with their mother, growing strong and learning from her. Some tendencies are instinctive, but much of this time is vital training for the cubs, like learning how to hunt. Tapia. They help shape and maintain the biological diversity 
of tropical rainforests by dispersing seeds and leaving them well fertilised, providing themselves and other wildlife with an ongoing supply of food and shelter. Females have a single pair of mammary glands and males have long prehensile penises relative to their body size which can be used to grip helping the passage of sperm to ensure successful insemination during mating. Copulation lasts between 10 and 20 minutes either on land or in the water. They are generally gentle, docile animals but they can attack when feeling threatened, especially the females with their babies. Orangutan Bornean orangutans exhibit bimaturism or two different forms of mature males. These two types of males are either flanged or unflanged. Flanged males are twice the size of females, have a large facial disc with flanges and a large throat patch. Unflanged males look much more like the females and do not display the same calling behaviour as flanged males. Both types of adult male orangutans reproduce in the population. Unflanged males may become flanged at any time as it is a reflection of social hierarchy as well as age. Dominant flanged males often have an established territory that will encompass multiple females' territories. The multiple females within the male's territory will copulate with him and produce his offspring. Females prefer to mate with flanged males. This is a way to ensure protection from unflanged males. Cheetah. Nearly all wild cheetahs can be found in sub-Saharan Africa where they roam open, grassy savanna plains and open forests. A small population lives in northeastern Iran, although only a few dozen remain there. They can reach a speed of 112 kilometers per hour in just three seconds. That's faster than a sports car accelerates. Sprinting at such mega speeds uses a lot of energy. A cheetah chase is usually limited to 200 or 300 meters and lasts less than one minute. These fierce felines hunt during the day to avoid competition from other powerful predators such as lions, hyenas and leopards. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and answer all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.